Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to control home appliances with any kind of IR remote. So let's get started. This is the IR sensor and it has three pins. Pin 2 is connected to the ground. Pin 3 is connected to plus 5 volt and pin 1 is connected to D12 of Arduino and I have already explained about this circuit in my previous video link in the description below ground pin of Arduino is connected to the ground and 5 volt pin of Arduino is connected to the plus 5 volt this is the relay driver circuit and we can control high voltage devices with this and this is the circuit I am going to use and I have already uploaded a video on this link in the description below it has 11 pins this is input 1 input 2 input 3 input 4 input 5 input 6 input 7 and input 8 and this is the Arduino side plus VCC and these two are separate power supply this is separate 5 volt for the relay and this is separate ground and there is no connection between these two power supply as we need separate power supply so I'm going to use here 6 volt battery as we are going to run 8 relays so it is better to use 6 volt instead of 5 volt here this is Arduino side VCC and this is connected to here now we need to connect all the 8 inputs here is D2 D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8 and D9 and here it is input 1, input 2, input 3, input 4, input 5, input 6, input 7 and input 8 now this is the input side of the relay driver circuit now I will explain the output side in next paper now see the output connection now this is the relay driver circuit and as you can see here this port is normally closed this middle two are common and this one is normally open so we have to connect our high voltage devices in these ports we we'll use only these two the common pin and normally open and I'll show you only for two relays and all the connections will be same let's say this one is our relay 1 these are the output pins normally close common and normally open so we need only these two common and normally open here is 220 volt AC and here is our load 1 the neutral of AC is directly connected to the load and the face or line is connected to the common pin of the relay and normally open is connected to the load so this is a simple connection but you have to do it carefully because you are working with high voltage now same as relay 2 it has 3 pins normally close, common and normally open here is our load 2 the normally open is connected to the load line is connected to the common pin of the relay 2 and neutral is connected to the load the neutral is common for all so this is how you have to connect all the 8 loads ok and here I will show you with 8 loads now let's see this on the breadboard put the Arduino Nano and the IR sensor and pin 1 of sensor is connected to the D12 of Arduino middle pin of the sensor is connected to the ground rail and third pin of the sensor is connected to the positive rail the ground pin of Arduino is connected to the ground rail and the 5 volt pin of Arduino is connected to the positive rail now we need the driver circuit and pin 1 to pin 8 
will be input 1 to input 8. Pin 9 is Arduino side VCC and pin 10 and 11 for the external power supply. Pin 10 is positive and 11 is negative. You can connect here anything like battery or any other power supply. But these two power supply should be separate. Now come to the connection. D2 is connected to input 1. D3 is connected to input 2. D4 is connected to input 3. D5 is connected to input 4. D6 is connected to input 5. D7 is connected to input 6. D8 is connected to input 7. And D9 is connected to input 8. As we know this rail is Arduino side VCC. So we have to connect it to pin 9. As these two are for external power supply. So for that I'll use 6 volt battery. Here is positive and here is the negative. Now this is all about the connection. Now let's check it whether it works or not. For that we have to upload a program. Coming to the programming and we have seen this header file and how to install one library for this in previous video. Please refer to the previous video. And then we have generated these numbers. This number is for zero. As you can see here in the last video we have generated this code and I have written this code for 0 ok and same as this code is for ok as you can see here this is the same code I have written here and same as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so you have to generate your code by referring previous video ok so this is all about the programming now put the USB and upload the program program is uploaded now remove this USB and now use separate power supply for the circuit here is the positive and here is the negative now let's check it whether it works or not this is my decoded remote and I have set the relay 1 for Q1 2 for 2 and up to 8 I have decoded the code for 8 and when I press 0 then all off and when I press ok then all on ok so now I am pressing 1 ok it is working and again 1 this turn off 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ok now let's say ok is ok all on now it is not working because it is only for all on and 0 for all off all on all off and this is how this works now next I'll do I'll connect here electric bulb to see the real application for this project and this will be our connection ok and you can refer my relay video for better idea
Okay, now let's see the application. Here I'm pressing switch Q1. Bulb 1 is glowing. Q2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. All are 100 watt electric bulb and you can control anything like this according to your relay power and if you want to turn off all then press 0 press ok 0 ok and again if you want to turn off turn it off then see 8 7 6 4 3 2 and 1 ok so like this it is working so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.